Welcome back to Built by Design. Today we're going to be covering the first CAD library and the Bill of Materials feature within Inventor. So to start off, right here we have a custom gearbox that a friend of mine has been working on. This is actually the case of it. And he wants more than just the case. He wants to have the gears and bearings and other things like that all included. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go in and open up the first CAD library that we provide and we're going to navigate to the mechanical bearings section. Go into bearings and then select the bearings that um, we want to go inside this gearbox and we can select multiple bearings. We're going to then right click and select copy because we're actually going to be moving these bearings into the project folder of the assembly that we're working on. So we're going to navigate back to that project folder and right click and paste those parts right into there. So now we're going to go back to the uh, CAD library and find the gears that we want to add into the gearbox. We've selected the gears that want to be included. Again, we're going to right click copy and then go back and paste these into the same project file. So now once those things are done, we can actually go and cancel out of this dialog box for now. And now we can right click, select place component, and those components are going to be in that file. So now we go navigate to the components we want. Again, we can select multiple components at a time. Going to click place them. And I'm actually going to spare you the details on the rest of the placing components because we covered that earlier. And then we're going to go in and assemble them. Again, we're going to skip over assembly because that was covered in the last video. And now we're going to go move into the bill of materials. So the first, when you first open the bill of materials in Inventor, it's actually pretty useless. Uh, there's a lot of things you don't need. So what we've provided is an XML uh, bill of materials template that you can download that will get rid of all the useless columns and bring in the columns that are actually useful for a first team. So it's in an XML format. All you have to do is click import and bring that in. And then as you'll notice here, we're actually going to go and first start by renaming some of these parts. Uh, first, when you, when you do select a part inside the bill of materials, um, notice how it selects it in the view plane. So when I select the gear, it you can see the gear that's selected. So now we're going to actually delineate whether these parts are machined or whether they're purchased. So what you can do is just click down the drop down menu and we're going to select purchased. And then very similar to Excel, you can just drag that down and it's going to apply it to all the ones below. So essentially this is basically an inventor, a big inventor Excel document and works very similar to that. So we can then go in and put prices in the estimated cost area. So if I just put in 10, it's going to bring in $10, um, $10 automatically, $4 and $5 respectively. And now we're going to go over to the vendor column and start putting in the vendors that sell the parts, specific parts. So this is really useful to your purchasing team or whoever's doing that so that they can purchase all the parts at one time from a place so you don't have to have multiple purchase orders, as well as just for the organization's sake so that you can make sure that you get all the parts that you do need purchased and on your way during those six weeks as early as you can. So now you'll notice some of the parts that I've highlighted right now are actually just pretty common basic fasteners that you can find in pretty much any parts store McMaster car, Ace Hardware, Home Depot. And so what we're going to do is, as I found most useful in my teams, is what we do is we delineate those as fasteners. So that means that it can be purchased pretty much anywhere. It keeps it a little bit simpler for the for purchasing team so that they can go and find the best prices or whatever's quickest and fastest. And then just go in and we're going to put in the last final vendors. So this last part is actually Andy Mark. So you're just going to drag down again, just like Excel. And then click done. So there we have it. Gearbox is all good. And we want to make sure that you save these 
uh, the file, it's really important that you do that because the bill of materials is actually isn't is 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 saved into the I properties of the, of the parts, and you have to propagate those changes by saving. So this was how to use the bill of materials and the FRC parts library that we provide. Thanks for watching. <laughs>